First of all, clearly I don't have a video camera. For the only time in my life, it would have helped having one. It seemed a bit bloody late to buy one, this being the last afternoon of my life. So why the hell should you be interested in a chubby man wearing a cardi talking into an old tape machine? Because what hit me was such a wallop, and it was a wallop, could happen to anyone. Has happened to a lot of people. Anybody who suddenly loses their job, or house, or even business, or just has somebody promoted above them, anybody who knows how that feels, this is for you. Have they? Yes, for the moment. And the world's returned to normal? Not quite. See, we stood our ground and here we are. Oswald, I've got another week out of them to see if I can find a home for the entire collection. Terrific! We'll give it a crack, race against time. It'll be exciting. But there's a condition. They want you to leave the building and not come back. Is that what they said? Yes. <laughs> you didn't agree to this, of course. Yes, I had to. You agree to me being banished? Oh, come on. That's being ridiculously overdramatic. Banished. May I ask why? Well, why do you think, Oswald? Tell me. You got up their nose. I did warn you, but you took no notice. Up their nostrils. Great. I'm glad I did. It would have worked splendidly if you hadn't done what they wanted. Well, you know, I don't agree with that. Sir, I mustn't set foot in this place again. No, you mustn't. Attack. That's my advice when put in this situation. Full frontal attack. Do the one thing they least want you to do. Juice, please. Just orange. Mm. And an apple. Morning, everyone. My little late. No big fry up for me today. Nope. It's a new world, so a new diet. So, to work. Thank you. What are you doing here? Considered their request carefully. Rejected it. Oswald, you will leave here immediately. You're putting the whole thing at risk, quite apart from making me look idiotic. I gave them my categoric assurance you'd be off the premises. Let me tell you something, Marilyn. You may think that this is childish and irresponsible. OK. The simple truth is, you won't manage it without my help. I am not arguing about that. You will not manage it because you don't have the first idea about what's going on out there. We'll see about that. I told you, you could help me from outside. If you ask me to leave, you won't get that help. You won't be able to reach me on the phone. You won't be able to get me at my house. You will never get help from me. That's ridiculous. Things are never simple. It will be very simple for me to say, fine. I'll be a good boy. I'll sit this one out. Wait patiently for it to ring to tell me whether you've succeeded or not. But you know, if I go home now, I will never get rehired anywhere. You know that. I don't know that. I don't know any such thing. Don't lie to me, Marilyn. You think I suddenly become an imbecile? Well, since we're talking about lying, 
I've seen the letters, Oswald. The ones you said didn't exist. Why didn't you tell me about them? The extraordinary thing about me... Shall I tell you what the extraordinary thing about me is? You haven't answered the question. Despite what I look like, despite being a shaggy, irritating prat, I know how the world works, OK? OK? If you say so. Yes, and I'm also saying, and I don't care how over the top it sounds, you will always regret it, always, if you ask me to leave. Well, I'm asking you to leave. Fine. Good evening. It's, uh, it's uh, the worst decision you've ever made, but it's, 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 it's absolutely fine. I've gone. I've left. Oswald. Marilyn, you have no idea of what a hash you're going to make of this. And what harm you're going to do to yourself. Why am I making such a terrible scene? That will soon become clear. Now watch this. I don't flounce out. Never, ever flounce out. Busy? Good. If they fire you, no stomping about. You can't treat people like this, etc., etc. It just makes them think they were right to get rid of you. No begging for good references, no clutching at faint straws. We may be rehiring people in the future. No, just say bollocks to that. And absolutely no dignified silences. Dignified silences are a complete and utter waste of time. Now, what you have to do is leave a lingering taste, a lingering feeling of doubt. Just what I come and check how you're doing. How I'm doing? Hmm. Have you been left here to keep an eye on these dutty characters? while your boss is off doing more important things. You could be right. <laughs> I'm very similar to that machine, you know. You are. Yes. Yes, I think that's true. It would be very interesting for me to take it on, my memory against its. I'm very good at fuzzy logic, making connections. I'd always be able to beat it at fuzzy logic. And of course, my database doesn't need constantly updating, it does that automatically. Clearly, I'm not as easy to carry around, though. But I'm working on that. So. Marilyn starts. And I don't think she believed a single word I said. First, she tries all the obvious people, our clients. The people we do the most regular business with. Television companies, universities, documentary filmmakers, newspapers, other collections. And can she even get them on the phone? He's in a meeting. I wonder if you could just let him know who's calling. Oh. It's Marilyn Truman. It's fine. Yes, I'll tell him when he comes out of the meeting. Yeah. I wonder if you could just let him know now that I'm on the phone, because it's quite important. Yes, perfect. He's just gone into the meeting. I'll give him the message. He'll get back to you. Oh, that's fine. Have you any idea how long he'll be in his meeting? Well, he's just gone in and... Oh, I've just looked... At Actually, with the eight-hour time difference, that puts us eight hours ahead of schedule. So maybe at the end of the day before he goes to the airport. What was your name again? Margaret Watt? And when she does get somebody on the phone... I'm sorry, it's really not for us. Not a practical proposition. We've just acquired another 30,000 pictures, but what could we do with another 10 million? The market's flooded at the moment. Everyone's been selling. But this collection is unique. Oh, come on, every collection is unique, Marilyn. And it's best to get somebody in to cream off the top. Cream your best pictures. You do still have them, don't you? 
don't you? The man Ray and the rest. And the terrible thought hits her. She doesn't know. She doesn't know whether our American friends are holding onto those pictures or not. Or whether they're for sale with everything else. She forgot to make that a condition of her deal. Without those pictures, she hasn't got a chance. Hello? You haven't let them go, have you? At least I've taught her one good thing. To lie. When there's nowhere else to go. And to lie well. No, we've still got those. Absolutely. They're our crown jewels, after all. And we could do a very good price, which would include everything. Listen, Marin, you are never, quite simply never, going to get anybody to take that whole sprawling collection. Nothing works like that anymore. Just save yourself the heartache and strip it out. Take no notice of that. That might be her now. She's been ringing me all the time. Because she's on her own now. I'm sorry, I've been giving him the messages. I'm sure he did try to call you. No, he didn't. Is he there now? He's in a meeting. Can you just see... Can you tell him it's me on the line and that it's urgent? In fact, tell him I'll hold until he's out of the meeting. Just hang on a minute. I'm afraid he's not in the building. You just said he was. He's in a meeting out of the building. That's rubbish. Can you tell him I will hold? When he comes back, he will call you. It is Christmas, you know. I know it's bloody Christmas! Don't look at me like that. I know it's not the greatest idea to start shouting. Can I suggest something? Naturally. Don't sound so keen. I'll listen to anything, speak. Celebrity. What do you mean? Fame. Celebrity. I know what celebrity means. You have to have a bit of celebrity around somewhere. Nothing much happens anymore without it. So what's the idea? We get a famous actor in here to ring round for us? No, of course I don't mean something as dumb as that. I took the liberty of collecting these. And I just want you to look at them for a moment. Without asking me anything. Let them come at you. Don't say a single thing. Just... experience them. What do you think? Wasn't it great? Yes. Surprised you picked some of these big. Most of them were from before you were born. Well, I'm not completely ignorant, you know. I have picked up something from being here. They're not worth a lot, though, I'm afraid. They're all available somewhere else. Doesn't matter. We've got them here. And we really need major interest. That would be good, of course. So? We use celebrity. We say we've got all these famous people here, photos to die for. And what's more, famous people come here. But they don't. Well, film directors have come here for movies, doing their research. Well, we had that Spanish-Italian production about General Franco. 
I don't think that's going to make the nine o'clock news somehow. We lie. We exaggerate. Who's going to know the difference? We say Hollywood directors have come here. Who's to tell? It's not exactly my special area, Spig. Hollywood directors. I could coach you, Marilyn. If you'd listen, I could teach you. Well, we did a story about an old theatre in Clapham that's going to be turned into a club just the other week. We don't like to do too many heritage stories too close together. It's become a bit of a cliché for every local TV programme. But you say Hollywood film directors use your collection. Hello? You did say that, didn't you? Yes, we have all sorts coming here, including Hollywood directors, yes. Uh, like who, for instance? Like Steven Spielberg. Spielberg, really? Did he come in person? In person? Yes, I believe he did, yes. Actually, we have a rather wonderful collection of photos of celebrities here. Almost anybody who's been famous in the 20th century. Amazing pictures of London, too. It would be a very visual item for a local news programme. So, do you have any anecdotes about Mr. Spielberg's visit that we could use? Anecdotes? Yes, did he have a favourite picture? Favourite picture? Mr. Spielberg. Hello, are you still there? I think his favourite was, um, I think it was of his hometown. His hometown? That's a surprise. Hmm, I, I see. And have you had any stars down there with you? Stars? Oh, yes, we have a little queue of them outside the door each morning when we show up. I've got another call coming in. Excuse me, I'll have to go. His hometown. I had no idea what that sign of yours meant. How oh, couldn't you have thought of something? Dinosaurs, spaceships, I don't know, extraterrestrials. I don't think we have many pictures of this, but... You could have done better. We have over 10 million pictures covering most forms of human activity. Nearly everything that's gone on in the last hundred years. We're just a tiny bit light on dinosaurs and extraterrestrials. Pig's dinner. She's making an absolute pig's dinner, as I think you'll agree. The odds are stacked so heavily, it's almost unseemly. The thing to realise about Marilyn, she was always wonderful at dealing with all the inquiries, our clients, but she remained very unworldly, not exactly finger on the pulse. Now, for example, with somebody whose finger is absolutely glued to the pulse of everything, we now come to my bizarre little intervention. Clearly a coincidence I could have done without. You see things on building sites, you're never quite sure whether they're meant to be like that or not. Given my threats to burn down the building, I thought it best not to say anything. No, I know, but the schedule's still the same. We'll try midweek. Well, it's got to be Tuesday or Wednesday. Prefer Tuesday. Okay. Mr. Bates. Good morning. What brings you here? I took the liberty of dropping by. That's all I can see. You must forgive me if we make this brief, because as you can see, we're in the middle of things, and this is all very technical. This is going to be rather technical at this stage. Do you want to give me a quick rundown? Because I know rather a lot about architecture. I'm sure you do. 
Look, we're deep into it now, and I couldn't even repeat some of the things if I tried. Why did you have me knocked out? No, that's not what's going on. As you know, the collection is closing. It's not personal. The collection has to end. So I haven't been knocked out. I can come back. No. The library is closing. In a week, everyone will be gone. I think you were very wrong to lock me out. Well, Mr. Bates, though it's not personal, I have to say you didn't seem very happy at how we were proceeding. Call me Oswald. Sure, Oswald. You found our presence here very difficult. And so it's What's best... What's all this difficult? These euphemisms. I didn't find your presence difficult. I hated you being here. Absolutely hated it. There you are, then. There you are what? I'm sorry? You just said, there you are, then. Like, as if everything was suddenly explained. But it isn't. If you hated us being here, it's not surprising you found it difficult to work with us. Now, if you'd excuse me, these gentlemen are waiting. Oh, you couldn't be more wrong. I hate you being here. But that makes me want to prove things to you even more, that you were wrong to lock me out. That seems a very perverse way of thinking about things, Mr. Bates. I don't believe so. And I will prove it to you. Well, this is very much not the time to do that, because I am in the middle of discussions here. I just need one thing. And what is that? A picture of your mother. Excuse me? Is that difficult, a photo of your mother? Have you got one about your person or not? No, I don't believe I have, no. Are you sure? I don't want to use inflammatory words like lying. So I'm just going to ask you again. I just need to see one picture of your mother. Have you got one to show me? And why should you want to see one? I expect you've got a little two-sided number. Hmm? With a picture of both parents. Like people carry. A little double picture. Can I see it, please? You just want to take a look at it, and then you'll leave. Of course. No need to feel uncomfortable. No one's watching. I just need one quick look. I don't feel uncomfortable. And I have to warn you, Mr. Bates, I will take all the necessary steps to have you forcibly removed from these premises if you ever set foot here again. Quick, butchers, and I'm off. Promise. This is surreal, I have to say. I know you're not going to tell me why you want to do this, so you just take one look and then you go. As you can see, it's just a picture of my mother. Is she still with us? No, she died. I say I'm sorry. Is there anything on the back? No, there's nothing on the back. OK, great, that's fine, thank you. Um, do you want this? I don't really need it. Don't worry, I'll be in touch. I hope you realise Marilyn is an amazing woman. And a good woman. I hope you work that out. Sure. She's a very impressive person. Sounds like another euphemism to me. By the way, by some unhappy coincidence, I think you've got a bit of a fire going here. There's a bit of a fire raging here! Guys. Nice. Nice. Oh, 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 oh. Don't be no burly man. This is my luck, eh? Oh, my. I mean, I don't suppose you could knock at the bathroom door and tell him we're on the line, could you? Yes, and maybe see if you'd like to talk to us. Oh. Oh, I see. Um, I don't suppose there's any point in my hanging on, is there? I mean, you don't happen to know at what stage the bath is at, do you? No. No, 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 fine. <laughs> oh, no, no, of course not. I mean, obviously. Yes. Yes, well, thank you. Yes. Sorry, I couldn't get into the bathroom. Yes, Nick, what is it? I've got someone. What does that mean, you've got someone? I've got someone who may buy the collection. You have? You're sure? Yes. The whole collection? Yes. Who are they? Uh, they're a big advertising agency. Called? Called... Good question.
Just wait a moment. Nearly got it. Marwood Price. And it's for real. I've put some brandy in this. I hope it's all right, because you've got an empty tummy. It won't make you woozy. It'll be terrific. Thank you. It's as strong as I could make it. So, Nick will correct me if I'm wrong, but this is quite a new outfit. Marwood Price. Very successful, very cool. Cool. Yes, they're... Yeah, Nick, spit it out. Come on. They like to feel they're cool Brits, you know, fitting in with the whole new mood. They like to feel they really created the buzz. So why on earth would they want us? Are you sure you didn't misunderstand, Nick? No way, no. They're very keen. Just have to persuade Mr Big. Who is there, Mr Big? Uh, he's, he's got a funny name. No, I, I'm allowed not to get this right. It's, uh, it's very odd. Um, Spittock, something like that. Spittock? That can't be right. Don't worry, we'll make sure we've got it once we're there. Now, Marilyn, the only important thing is... There's only one important thing? Yeah. And it's to make sure we give them the impression that we've got other offers. No desperation, no imploring. That was good before, but not this time. Yes, well, a woman in distress, that's all I had left the first day. It's the opposite now. Be nice, but distant. A little chilly. Make them feel they've got to come after us. Right. The old zap and Marilyn. He does have a strange name, the big cheese. But it's not Spittock. It is, in fact, Steinman. Right. And it got quite close for him. So why is it called Marwood Price, then? We're in the right place. Yes. It'll be OK. You'll do great. Well, I have to do better than I have been. This is a real chance. What's more, it's the only chance we've had. Here, I've got Nick's for you. You don't have one, do you? And there's my number. You can ring during it, in case you need to create a diversion or ask for anything. Unless, do you want me to be there with you? What do you think? I cramp your style a bit, don't I? Sitting there watching you. No, no, it's not that. Perhaps it would be better if I spoke to him on my own. You know? Head to head. Yeah. Remember, Marilyn? Be chilly. Is the name and who he is. This is Laura. Hi. That is Simone there. And Doug will be in and out. Don't worry about Doug. Hello. Anything we can get you? No. No, thanks. It's good of you to see me. Well, it'll seem rather urgent to us. No, no, that's not the case. There's no great urgency at all. We have a lot of offers. A lot of offers. That's very good. Christmas is one hell of a time to have to try and shift 10 million pictures. I thought that at the beginning, but um, it's amazing how many doors are opening because of what we have to sell. So, why are you here, then? Well, it would be stupid of me, wouldn't it, not to explore all possibilities. Of course. So, where are the uh, other offers coming from? Well, that is confidential, just at this moment. You can't tell me what sort of people? Just out of curiosity, it would be good to know. Well, 
There's another collection. And um, there's a major TV company. And it's idiotic, what I'm saying. I'm sorry. It insults your intelligence. <laughs> Everything I've said since I came into the room has been utter rubbish. Total crap. But that's my fault, not the collections. Just erase it, you know, what I've said so far. Can I come in again? Hi. I'm going in five minutes. Are you coming in? Uh, I'll be with you in two. Uh, seven or eight. You want to make a call? No, no. I don't think so. Please, when you're ready, make your pitch. My pitch? Yeah. You're right to want to see me, even though it is your Christmas party. Because why is this woman here? Why is she dragging 10 million pictures around London, so to speak, trying to find a home for them. That is unusual. And there must be a good reason why she's so passionate. And there must be a good reason, too, why a cool new advertising agency should want these pictures, all of them, to buy them. Yes, why should we want all of them? I'll show you. I brought these along. They're just a tiny sample of what we've got to offer. The images you will have never seen before. There are ideas here for a hundred campaigns. It'll give you constant inspiration. You're in a market where it's very hard to find new images. Everything's been done already. But these will give you such an advantage over your competitors. When you're stumped for an idea, you just have to bring in some of these. Every evening we see a thousand images on TV, but hardly any of them stay with you. They're almost impossible to remember an hour later, but these stay with you. Images that haunt the memory, that you can look at again and again. There will be an investment for you, appreciating and value. There will be a source of constant stimulation providing not just surprising concepts for selling things, but they will impress your clients as art objects in themselves. Something a lot more original than just another bit of modern art. There are pictures here of immense beauty that will give you such pleasure. And bring added kudos to your firm. chose these pictures to appeal to an ad man? Yes. It shows very well. It was a very eloquent presentation, if you don't mind my saying so. No, I don't mind you saying so. And we're used to giving presentations, but that, that was very good. Did I get anywhere, though? Yes. I think so. Yes. Don't worry about Doug. He's just trying to make his presence felt. You're asking how much? Uh, I know you faxed us a figure, but... 
We'd settle for 700,000. Yeah. I see. That's with the Man Ray and everything. Without those, the price is less. Right. I've just got one simple question, which... which is nevertheless of huge importance. Yes? How much of your collection is in colour? A rough estimate will do a ballpark figure. Do you have that? I... I mean, do you want to give your office ring and check? No, I know. Uh, please, uh, don't take this wrong, but we, we do want the true figure. It's about, um... 7%. Are you sure? I'm sure. That's too bad. I could have gone with 15%, but not 7 But it doesn't diminish what I've said. Because they're black and white. That's daft. I know, it seems banal, but that, that's the figure I've got in my head. 15% is it's probably garbage, but that's... That's the rules. We make up the rules just like everybody else, and that that's the figure that we've made up. Let me consider for one moment. Photographs are wonderful things, aren't they? Yes? It's a no. Oh, shit! Really? Fuck! Fuck! You're sure? Yes. It's okay, don't worry. For some reason, I feel... I know. And I know what to do. I know exactly what to do. Where's that number? He's having problems with his pitching elbow, and team doctors want him to sit a few games out to rest the muscles. Yeah. Still with this is Marilyn Truman. Oh, hi. Are you busy? No, not at this moment, no. Good. Let's have dinner, shall we? I'll meet you at your hotel at 8. Is that OK? Yeah. I think I'm free. That'll be good. Fine. I'll see you there. I'm usually pretty punctual. I'm going shopping now, Spig. Come and help me choose. I feel amazing. So, we're getting quite close to my exit from the proceedings. My suicide. We're beginning a bit of a countdown now. And I want to get the maudlin bit out of the way because it's very important for me to try to get across the fact that I am not a victim. And I really urge people not to jump to snap judgments. Oh, he was a bit of a loser, so he just checked out. That is not what's going on here. But to do the sentimental thing. I've got some pictures here of people who took their own life. Do we see the clues? About what's coming? If we stare close enough. Hmm? I must be very careful about generalizations. But I think it's fair to say they were all terribly unhappy, by and large. I think that's a pretty uncontroversial statement. But the really vital thing to grasp is that I'm not terribly unhappy. No. Is that possible, I can hear people saying? How can one possibly reconcile what is about to happen with someone not being unhappy? But I have to show, in the little time remaining, that it does make sense. I'm going out. Big step to get my photos developed. So people realise that I've taken them. I have to 
play my teeth with this excursion. I've no idea, but there we are. Maybe a little more, like really bold. It's me. Oswald. At last. Why haven't you been answering your phone? It's been ridiculous you're doing it. It's not been ridiculous at all. It's been quite restful. Are you alone? No, I'm not alone. Why? The others all there, are they? Yes. Why? What do you want to say? I'll ask them to leave, if you like. No, no, no. No, no need. No. I'm in a phone booth, surrounded by... Savage Swedish meatball, uh, massage, and sultry Spanish tentress. Yes, Oswald. I just wanted to say that I'm onto something. You're onto something? What does that mean? I discovered something. Uh, you'll find a full account of my flat. Right. Well, perhaps I'll come around tomorrow night. Absolutely, that'll work well. They're still there, are they? Yes. Why do you keep asking that? Could you just a moment. They've gone. What is it? Are you OK? No, no, I'm fine. No, I couldn't be better. Uh, make sure you give my regards. Of course. I just wanted to say... Yes? ..about those letters. I'd rather like to clear that up about those famous letters I was meant to have replied to. Yes, Oswald, well, maybe we shouldn't discuss that now. I'll let you get angry. The fact is, it's not quite what it seems. That's too complicated for me right now, OK? You lied to me, you didn't tell me the truth about the letters, and that's why we're in this bloody awful mess now. Well, that's one way of putting it, but it's not necessarily the truth. OK. I have to go now, so I'm... Yeah, fine, no problem. Off you go. Oh. Have you got a buyer for the collection? No. Well, two days left. Anything could happen. I think I know what you're going to do. You're all dressed up, aren't you? Yes. It's just a guess. I'm sure you look terrific. Go for it. I've prepared the ground. Go for it, Marilyn. I've just got these. Um, do me two sets if you could. Sure. Thank you. Other people's pictures. <laughs> you know, there are those that find other people's pictures totally dull. I just can't look at them. But I adore them. Absolutely love them. I just have to say one thing to make these pictures absolutely electrifying. These people, some of these people, are about to be hit by the most terrible change. The whole world's turned upside down. They have no idea. Uncertainty beyond their wildest dreams. To sound a more cheerful note, I found a mystery. I'm onto something. I've made connections between things. In fact, I really don't believe I could have done better.
worked. What? I can't stop looking at you. Good. It was meant to work. The whole town having Christmas parties, and we're here. Clearly you booked into the wrong hotel. <laughs> so what do you want, Marilyn? It's not what you think. Well, that could cover a lot of things. You think I want more time, don't you? Another week. So do you don't want more time? No, I don't. That is a surprise. So what do you want, then? I want you to buy the collection. Me? Yes. The business school doesn't need the collection, obviously. Otherwise, we... No, I don't mean that. I want you personally to buy the collection. I'm sure you've got a million dollars, haven't you? And I'm sure your trustees would sell it to you for a reasonable price. Why should I want it? Because I know you're really interested in it. You're right. I've been trying not to show it, but... Yeah, I'm fascinated by it. And despite being happily married, I also find you very attractive. But you're making a mistake. I don't think so. I'm not trying to seduce you. That's not exactly my style. No, you're making a more serious mistake than that. More serious than that, really? It's because I find what you're doing so interesting that you have no chance with the collection. Not with me. No chance at all. What does that mean? I don't understand. You know, my father was a small-town businessman. He brought me up to plan everything. Going out on a Saturday afternoon to play baseball with the guys, the game plan had to be laid out on the dining room table the night before. I think one of the great myths about where I come from is that it is youthful, spontaneous. There's an awful lot of people like me, playing old from a very young age, saying to the world, I can run this. This business school, the school you've shown such an interest in, is geared to a different approach, more spontaneous. And I feel a huge passion for this, as great a passion as you do for your pictures. But there's room for both, surely? Not with me, there isn't. It's precisely because I know I could be so easily diverted that you have no possibility of winning. Believe me, Marilyn, you can't win. Don't mention him. When I start thinking of him, I begin to get really angry with you as well. It's only... He said something odd. I mean, I know he likes to sound like a detective or something with his little secrets. But he said I would find something in his flat. Just remember it. I think I might try and call him. Come on, he puts everything in an odd way. It's only because you've been out and about this week in the real world that you've started to notice. That's true. You're right. Take no chances. All available pills.
I'm quite hungry, you know. I'm not sure you're really meant to feel like that at this stage. 